This is Thomas DeLauer Part 2. It's a response to Thomas DeLauer Rice Diet Protocol and his Rice Diet Weight Loss. You can achieve a healthy weight loss with Rice Resistant Starch Diet. You will achieve a maximum weight loss with the protein restriction protocol I explained in the Thomas DeLauer Part 1. Remember to increase the resistant starch by adding coconut oil. Remember, this diet prevents muscle loss by stimulating IRF4 and leptin. This diet activates brown fat adipose tissue to burn fat and glucose. It stimulates FGF21 for maximum fat burning and fat loss. Resistant starch feeds the beneficial bacteria in the colon. Resistant starch helps reverse dysbiosis, leaky gut, and restricts growth of bad bacteria in the colon. It increases short-chain fatty acids that activates brown adipose tissue. This is a slide on my upcoming low-carb diet overview. A low-carb diet inactivates brown adipose tissue. It also causes bone loss and muscle loss. These are some upcoming videos that you can take a look at. But the low-carb diet video I'm going to be doing is one that you don't want to miss. A long-term low-carb diet is not healthy. It causes insulin resistance. It has a higher rate of mortality than an optimal uh, carb diet. Butyrate is one of the short-chain fatty acids. Butyrate stimulates brown adipose tissue. It lowers branched-chain amino acids, which is one of the major issues causing insulin resistance and diabetes today. It lowers LDL cholesterol. Butyrate provides energy to your colon cells and reinforces the gut barrier and reduces inflammation. It helps balance blood sugar and plays a major role in neurological function and cancer prevention. It's antibacterial against Staphylococcus aureus and H. pylori. Propionate enhances brown adipose tissue function. It is also antibacterial against Staphylococcus aureus and uh, H. pylori. It also has antifungal properties against Aspergillus fumigates. It regulates blood glucose, appetite, and decreases fat accumulation. It strengthens the brain's protective barriers. Propionate regulates mucosal immunity as well as tight junction. It stimulates the release of GLP-1, helping you lose weight. It also decreases LDL cholesterol. The next short-chain fatty acid is acetate. Acetate supports healthy weight control, improving glucose homeostasis and insulin sensitivity. Acetate manages appetite regulation as well as energy expenditure. Acetate influences lipid synthesis as well as being implicated in memory formation. It also stimulates GLP-1 secretion for helping you lose weight. It also helps women with PCOS. Your brain uses acetate as a fuel source. It influences the genes related to learning and memory. The short-chain fatty acid acetate also helps with muscle building. It is crucial for maintaining skeletal muscle mass as well as performance. It prevents muscle weakness and loss of grip strength. Here's the bonus. You can extend your fast or you can maximize the results on a sugar diet protein restriction protocol. Continue protein restriction except for the rice diet. I'm going to explain the rest of the protocol in the description, so click on the description now.